Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hotcakes, and I'm in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection version 15, and I'm going to show you how to create a cool wedding title using one of the backgrounds from our Digital Hotcakes Wedding Essentials volume number 2 in HD. And the background we're going to be using is the Gold Hearts background number 1, and I have already navigated to it. It's copied on my hard drive. It's very important when you're using any of our Digital Hotcakes that you copy them to your hard drive before importing them into your software. So let's go ahead and drop this clip into the video track. And let's open our video toolbox. And the first thing we're going to do is shorten this clip a little bit. I'm going to make it 19, actually we're going to make it 18 seconds. So change that, just type 18 in there. And now we can start creating our titles. We're going to select here, create or edit a title. And the type of title we want to create is a motion title overlay. So let's select that. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is set up my font and the size. Of course, you can use whatever font you prefer. I'm going to use the Palatine Linotype. And I'm going to set my size at 36. And also, I want the duration of the titles to, to match our video clip. So I'm going to type that 18 seconds into here. And let's go ahead and create our first title, which will be the date of the wedding. Okay, and then you just grab it and center it in the middle of the heart. And I want to change its color as well. So over here under settings, next to the next to fill it, there's an eyedropper. So let's grab that and let's drop it in the dark portion of the gold here. That'll give that title a nice complementary color that goes with the background. Okay, we also need to set up its motion when it's going to appear and when it's going to disappear. So let's just grab it here in its timeline. We're going to bring it in at one second. And it's going to go out at six seconds. So drag the ending to six seconds. Okay. And now we want to set the motion for the title. So up here, let's select our motions button. And for the enter, we want it to be a fade in. So we're going to, we're going to apply a page fade. And for the exit, we're going to use this movie trailer effect. It's, it, you'll see what it does, but this is going to be a nice effect that goes with the animation. So let's apply that to the exit. And I want both of these effects to be one second long. So you can just grab their little timeline here and just adjust it back to one second. Okay, now we can add our next title. So let's choose our Add Text button. And our next title is going to be the names of our bride and groom. Okay, and this title is going to come in at six seconds when the other one's leaving. So let's drag its beginning over to the six second mark. And we'll also grab our scrubber bar so we can see where the animation is at that point of time too. Okay, now we can we can center our title. It's almost there. Okay, and we're going to apply the same effects to this title that we applied to the previous title. For enter, we're going to do a page fade. For exit, we're going to do the movie trailer. And again, we're going to set these to one second. And while we're at the end of this, we need to set its ending to 13 seconds. We hadn't done that yet. So let's drag this back to 13 seconds. Okay. Now we can, now we can create our last title. Let's, let's select our Add Text button again. And this title is simply going to be Wedding Day. And of course, it's going to come in at 13 seconds. And the previous title is leaving, so let's drag it to 13 and bring our scrubber bar. Okay, now we can center that title. And for this title, we're just going to apply an effect to the entry. So we're going to do that page fade. And we're going to set it to one second. And that does it for the titles. We have the date of the wedding, which We've typed in and we have Jack and Jill and we have wedding day. So let's click OK. 
And the last thing we're going to do is add our audio clip. So let's select our Show Music button. And we're using um, an audio clip called the Spring Four Seasons, something we got off the fresh, authentic, classical CD we purchased from smartsound.com. And I'm just going to grab that audio file, drag it down in our music track. And we want to double click on it to open up the editing panel. And we want to set its ending time to 18 seconds to match the rest of our video clip. Okay, now we can exit out of this editing panel and we can watch what we've created.